Hello, uh, my name is Barnaby Fall. I'm the director of the bank net department here at Spinks. Uh, I've been at Spinks for about 41 years, which is embarrassing, but true. I started with Greek and Roman coins and uh, then moved on to banknotes probably about 30 something years ago. And I can remember the early banknote catalogues, if we were lucky, we were allowed to put a few banknotes in a coin sale. Banknotes were Mickey Mouse, if you like, to most of the classical coin trade. And I now look at our catalogues, and uh, this is our next catalogue. It's, as one client put it, he found it in a crater on the floor. Uh, it's a big catalogue. Banknotes have moved on. We have a fantastic sale in September. Uh, world notes, a lot of archival material, which is extremely unusual. We have a fantastic collection of French colonial notes, the Mazinski collection, which is truly beautiful pieces of paper, and a collection of Lebanon and Syria, a very appropriate uh, area of collecting right now. This, for example, is what's known as the carpet note. As you can see, the colors are absolutely beautiful on it. Um, very, very rare indeed, lovely note. We have French West Indies, uh, lovely fragile French paper, completely different to the English style. French banknotes are much more colorful. Uh, when I started doing banknotes, I must say I preferred the the British Commonwealth, if you like, which was a little more muted. But the longer I've been in the business, the more I like the, the colourful. And the French colourful notes are truly lovely, well worth a look. We have a lot of archive material in the sale as well. Uh, we're very lucky with some of our sources. We have, for example, banknotes that were never made. This is a, a $50 from the Cook Islands. There are no banknotes from the Cook Islands. I find that kind of thing absolutely fascinating. We have here... The, uh, an artist design for a Bahamas one pound with a picture of George V on it. Again, a completely unique item. But the thing I like most about these, these notes is they are absolutely gorgeous. I know you're either a coin man, a stamp, no, stamp man, a banknote man. But to me, you've got a stamp market that has tens of millions of collectors, a banknote market which is infinitely smaller. But here you've got something that's 20 times the size, much better printed, and a real piece of history. What's not to like about something like this? And prices for banknotes, although they have improved enormously over the last couple of decades, are still, if you like, relatively relatively cheap. Um, other great rarities. We actually now have, believe it or not, we're selling photographs of banknotes. Uh, again, we're very fortunate. We had an archive of photographic reproductions, if you like, of notes that were never made. This is a note from Saudi Arabia. There is no such thing as this on a, on a banknote. If people collect Saudi or they collect Gulf states or anything like that, is this a legitimate collecting area? Absolutely. It's, it was made by a proper banknote printer. It's a photograph of a real proof. The real proof would be worth £15,000, something like this. The photograph, probably about three or four hundred pounds, but we're selling photographs now for a thousand pounds or more. So we run out of banknotes. I suppose we just photograph the notes and sell the photographs. But again, another facet for this fascinating hobby. We have very early British Commonwealth. I know a very, very popular series, a New Zealand 50 pound note. There are only three of these known in the world, and this is probably the finest example, with the Maori king on the right and the Kiwi on the left. Again, it reeks of New Zealand, this note. It's a fantastic piece of paper and incredibly rare. Falkland Isles, again, very appropriate. It's always in the news. Very small place. This is a, a one pound note from 1915 in lovely condition. How it exists now, I don't know. A pound in 1915 in the Falklands would have probably been a month's wages. It's a fantastic piece of history. And I think, in my opinion, too, a very, very attractive piece as well. So we have... 2,000 plus lots in our banknote sale. And I, as I was saying earlier, you go back to our first auction, I think we had 13 banknotes at the end of a coin sale. And I can remember the auctioneer getting to the banknote section and going through it in about 50 seconds because it was not serious stuff. Now the banknote sales last three days. Serious? You judge. Anyway, hopefully you'll enjoy the sale. Come along, watch, even if you don't buy anything. And if you want a catalogue, please let me know. Anyway, good luck. Thank you.